Hi, everybody. David Wesley here, and welcome to episode number four of Meet the Choir. In this series, I introduce you to some of the very interesting people I've met through my virtual choir projects. This week's episode features the Lining family, Michael, Mandy, and Caleb. This is a small family with a lot of musical talent. Michael is a classically trained musician. He plays the trumpet, and he's also a multi-track a cappella artist like myself. He has more of a bent towards older hymns and Southern gospel stuff, which is fantastic. And his wife, Mandy, is a singer-songwriter, and even their son, Caleb, gets in on the action on his channel with some Disney covers and other music as well. So I'll let them introduce themselves and let you know all about them. Hey, we're the Lining Family. My name is Michael, this is Caleb, and this is my wife, Mandy. We began following David Wesley back in 2012, before Caleb was born. There was actually a playlist of David Wesley music that helped Caleb to fall asleep when he was an infant. And we sincerely appreciate what David is doing for Christian music and the virtual choir community in general. In 2012, I began making multi-track videos of my own on YouTube. My YouTube channel had been alive since 2007, but had only a few random things on it. I wanted to start going the multi-track video route, and I began releasing videos of myself singing hymns and other choral arrangements. I also joined an online community of friends that were forming as a result of Eric Whitaker's virtual choir. Those connections that I've made have led to a lot of real life meetups with really neat people. Mandy and I were participants in David Wesley's first virtual choir, which we found to be very fun, very well done, and very rewarding. The interactions I've had with David as well as other collaborators in these projects have been very encouraging and rewarding. In the last David Wesley virtual choir, I was selected to be the baritone guide vocalist for the virtual choir. At that time, my YouTube channel had grown to over 4,000 subscribers, mostly of people that enjoyed watching videos of me singing four-part harmony hymns. Another participant in the YouTube multi-track community turned out to be the tenor vocalist for the virtual choir. His name is Rhett Roberts. He's also a bass vocalist for the Ball Brothers Quartet. A few weeks ago, Rhett and I had a chance to meet up at one of his Ball Brothers sing-outs, and that was a great time. I truly believe that music draws people together. We as the Lining family actually have three YouTube channels. My main channel is called Michael Lining Music. And on Michael Lining Music, as I said before, I have four part acapella arrangements of hymns and Christian songs. I also do instrumental arranging and do some other fun things from time to time. But that channel sticks mostly to acapella music. Now Mandy is a singer songwriter and she has her own YouTube channel called Mandy Lining Music. Can you tell us a little bit about the music that you write? I write songs that God gives me about pain and trials and tribulations. Those songs are really beautiful and you should check them out on Mandy Lining Music. I help to produce all of the backing tracks, the accompaniments, and the recording production of her music. Now this is my son Caleb, and he is the main star of the show at Boo and the Linings. Boo Boo, can you tell us a little bit about the music that you sing on our family channel, Boo and the Linings? So I sing Disney songs, like Frozen, oh, Walking in the Air, Open the Eyes on My Heart, Lord, Lost in the Woods from Frozen 2. That's the new one. So I make YouTube videos that we work really hard on, and I'm going to be in the next David Wesley virtual I hope that you check these out. I'm thankful for David and for all that he is doing in Christian music, and we will see you later. Thanks so much to Mandy, Michael, and Caleb Lining for sharing your story. I want to point out to you some of the great work that Michael did in Virtual Choir Number 1. You can see him singing as well as playing a couple trumpet parts. Uh, but specifically, if you look at the instrumental bridge and the final chorus, if you hear the trumpet descant, uh, it's a bit of a fanfare kind of piece that, you, that kind of soars over top of everything else. He actually wrote that part himself and submitted it, and I thought it was great, and put it in. It really was um, the cherry on top of the whole thing. So please check out the links on the screen and in the video description for links to all of their channels. I really suggest you check them out, uh, especially with Michael's channel. He does some Southern Gospel and him hymns that people have requested from me but I probably wouldn't do. They're a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. Go check out his channel. He may have already done the one you're looking for. So I will see you guys next time on Meet the Choir. <laughs>